guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. <laughs> I've got all my supplies ready for this. Um, I've got some inks, I've got some stamps, uh, I want to use my grunge stamps and some other ones and um, I really want to use this stencil. And I'm going to use a technique that I haven't used in years, I think. Now usually, a few years ago, I always used uh, Distress Ink for the background. So I might try that a different time, but today I want to use my watercolors. So um, let's just try that. So I'm just going to get everything to the side for a moment, except for the stamps uh, and this book. This is a mixed media art journal book. Because I want to you know, use my watercolors, um, I need paper that is a bit good with watercolors. So uh, I want to make it a two page spread. So this one. And I want to use, I really like this, Imagination Rules the World, the text. So I might use this as a text. It is kind of small, but it is a small page. And I really love this one. And I really love this one. Uh, these are by Paper Artsy. I've had them for years. And I also want some drops. So these are designed by designs by Rin. I thought this would be nice. So let's get them out. So first let's see what, what stamps I'm gonna use. Right, so I want something... I don't want a text because I have this as a text, so I think I'm going to use this one. And then maybe a number, I would like 65 because it's my birth year. <laughs> so I might use that one and maybe a heart or something. Let's just see. These are too... I'm not gonna use these. These are too much really pictures already. So, okay. I really love the create, but I've got this text. So from this one, sorry for the noise, I'm going to use the, maybe the tire track or the heart. So I'm just gonna get them off already and get the rest to the side. That's this one. Where do I put it? Over here. Then from this one, I wanted the 65. I really like that. I also really love this bit, but maybe that'll be too much. I don't know. And from this one, I want a circle because you need a circle. Yeah, I've got lots of stems. Maybe this is enough. I want uh, this one and maybe a bit of a circle. Let's just use these. Okay. So what I want to do, what the technique is, is you stamp a stamp with ink. So far so good, duh. <laughs> and then I use um, clear embossing powder to emboss it. Uh, I need blocks. Oh, lots of acrylic blocks. So I've got a bigger one. Oh, this one will fit on here. This one will fit on here. I always like to have them all on a block so I can just take them when I want them and don't need to get them off the block first and put them on a, another block so it fell down. <laughs> so I do have lots of these acrylic blocks. All kinds of sh and shapes and prices and some of them were from uh, the action, that really cheap store that we have, like the dollar store and so on, you get a few stamps and a block for just 150 or so. And also very expensive ones that have a grip and are really nice to work with. I just use them all. So I've used, used to use so much of this stuff that I just emptied a few jars of clear embossing powder in this thing. So I can just use it whenever I need it. Okay. How am I going to do this? Um, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I have this ready to go. I always stamp on here, put my embossing powder on it and then put it back in the jar. But that doesn't work because I want to stamp on this paper. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if you knew what I meant, but anyways. I'm just going to start with my 65. So this is Marina Mist by Stamping Up. And where is my 65? So some of these I haven't used, so I'm not really sure if they will stamp okay. But I'm going for a grungy look, so 
it's okay if it doesn't really work. I hope. Ew! It would be nice if I had a little spoon or something. Because normally I just do this. But uh, yeah, it's really nice to do this with a little spoon or so. <laughs> because like I said, normally I just do this on top of a paper. But this is nice. And I can do another one. I'm just going to do it like this, guys. I'm too lazy to get up and get a spoon. So this will probably go horribly wrong. <laughs> you know how that works. I've already got ink on my fingers. That's the problem with these small blocks. They're so thin that you get ink everywhere. But oh well. And it didn't really stamp well. So this can only go right. Pfft, what am I doing? <laughs> it's always good to have a piece of paper laying underneath this because, you know, if you spill some, you spill it on the paper. And it's also good to use your, your anti-static, which I didn't. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna do these two first. <laughs> So I have clear embossing powder on here now and everywhere, I think. And I'm just gonna emboss this with my heat tool. Ah, here it comes. You can see when it's embossed, when it gets darker. I'm in front of the camera, some of you can't see it, but. shouldn't emboss too long because then it can just be absorbed into the page so can you see the difference this one is darker than that one so let's emboss this one I really like this one here it comes oh I love this <laughs> can you see that This is awesome to do with gold embossing powder because then you see it becoming gold. Oh, it's really nice. So um, I'm going to clean these later on. Now I want a heart also over here and I want it to be orange. So peekaboo peach. Peekaboo peach. Here we go. So when you have a little jar, you can just put the jar stuff over it. Then you can the jar stuff. Just throw the whole jar on it. Then you can do this. And then complicated because I've got so much stuff on here. You have all your lovely embossing powder on your page and you can just put it back into the jar. In this case, it's a really big jar, so it doesn't really matter. But if you have a small jar, it's really nice to work that way. So, do I do this one as well with this color? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I made a really nice circle, which I wasn't planning on doing. This one I'm gonna do like this. I do need a spoon. Uh, but I can't get up now, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, what am I going to do? Scoop it up with something. Why don't I just have a spoon over here? But I don't, so this is my spoon. I'm gonna put it over here. Just imagine this is a spoon. Bit of a weird video, and you didn't even see. Yes, you did. So this should have been <laughs> something totally different. But I was just so... Look, it has these really nice structure thingies, but then you have to put it on your block like this. I put it on the block like this, so it's just it's just a square. But maybe I can maybe I can do something with it. A square. I mean a circle. Now I'm really confused, guys. It's just a circle. Let's clean it. Maybe I can <laughs> That was just so stupid. Okay. The other side. Shall I just go over it with the same 
Oh, I already put some embossing powder on it. I'm just gonna emboss it first. This is a very chaotic video. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I got everything. Yes, I did. Um, right, so if you want a really nice circle, you just take the back side of a stamp and you've got a really nice circle. But I'm going to try and do it again with a different color, because why not? So I am going to use green on this one. <laughs> so now I hope I have it the right way up. I'm just gonna stamp over it. That's better. <laughs> okay, let's emboss it right away. Still, haven't got a spoon. Oh, come on. I should have gotten up and get a spoon, but look, this works as well. <laughs> Never give up, guys. <laughs> just keep on going until you're satisfied. <laughs> okay. Right. So, what shall I do next? Shall I do another circle? Now a right one. Um, over here. Okay, I'm gonna get a spoon for the last one. I really am. Okay, got a spoon. <laughs> so now I want a bit of this scribbly stuff over here because I absolutely love that uh, oh apparently I want it in blue actually I wanted it in a, oh well blue it is so a bit over here upside down I think it is no it's not and a bit over here okay Here we go. That's one. So I'm not doing this the best way. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just messing around at the moment. But it does work. A bit. See, that's why you need to put paper underneath it so you can get it back in the jar. It's so simple. But wait, I just don't do it. So then I have some drops and I hope I have them the right way up. Okay, let's just try it out first. Yes. <laughs> I want some drops over here. And a few over here. So that's okay. Uh, because this paper isn't very smooth, you really need to put the embossing powder on it immediately. If it's smooth paper, the ink dries slowly, so you have more time. But this isn't smooth paper, so... Like I said, this is not the best method. Oh well, but it works. Although I have embossing powder everywhere now. Okay, just... Oh. Just one more. I want something with this color and I only have this one left. It is a large one. So where shall I put it? Over here? And a little bit over here. I need to clean a lot of stamps. Okay, finished. So, um, let me just clean my desk because I think there's powder everywhere. So, when I used to do this years ago, I used to make cards. So I always put my card on here, stamped on it, put embossing powder on it and just put it back like that. That is the best way to do it. But <laughs> I wasn't prepared for working in an art journal. So it uh, yeah, was a bit weird, but it did work. It did work. So, oh well. So I thought I could use one of these uh, texts. I have this one, Have a Lovely Day, or I really do like Live, Laugh, Love. But I also like this one. So I'm not sure. You know what? I think I'm going to do uh, this one and also emboss it. Because I just put everything away. So let's emboss it. 
tiny black embossing, I mean black ink. And I hope this will work because there's a lot going on underneath. Let's open this up again. Got my spoon ready. <laughs> I'm gonna ink it up. It's gonna be off camera, you can't see it. But I'm gonna ink it up real well. And oh dear. I do stuff like that a lot. Ah! <laughs> this is one of those videos. Okay, I'm gonna ink it up a bit more. I had it a bit too much to the right on my block, so if I then turn it around, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I hope it fits now. Oh, hardly. Um, ah, here. No, I can't. I can't push it down because the block is over here. <gasps> and now I just. Oh boy. How am I gonna get this right? Because it just it tilted a bit. So it's. <laughs> This is not gonna be right. Yeah, imagination rules the world. Oh well, let's imagine this went okay. What am I doing, guys? This. Oh boy, do you have days like this? I seem to have them all the time now. Oh well. <laughs> oh boy. It is kind of weird. Well, you know what? You can still read it. Actually, actually, guys, whoa, I'm so amazing. That's, that's what you do when you're stamper. You say, how did I do that? I don't know. I just stamped it twice. And isn't it amazing? In, oh, you can still read it. I think it's okay. Normally, uh, a few years back, this would bug me so much. This would be so... Ah, oh, but now I just think, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> okay, this part is finished. Let's just clean my desk a bit. Okay, so guys, to be honest, I'm really wondering if I should use watercolor or just this trash ink, because that's what I was used to years ago. And now <laughs> things go horribly wrong the whole time. Oh, well, let's just... Let's just use watercolor, why not? So I have this huge brush that I might use. I think I'm just gonna spritz. <sighs> Is this gonna work? I don't know. I'm just gonna spritz some water over here. I've got my new Hello Kitty bottle because this one, my Distress Ink thing doesn't really work anymore. Um, I want, I want, I want, what do I want? Blue, this blue. So I want lots of this blue. So first I'm gonna put it all on here. Blue, and I'm gonna take another brush for a bit of orange, I think. It's gonna make a lovely uh, color green. Ooh, this one I like. Well, let's start with these two. I want some green in there too. Do I have another brush? I have another brush. Some or 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 which color shall I do? Mm, <laughs> pink, of course. Duh. Pink it has to be well. What is this? Crimson or whatever. I have no idea if this is gonna work because you know that's what's going on today. So. I need a little bowl and I need a little water. So I can wet this page. Got a big brush and I'm just gonna wet the page. I'm just gonna do it. Because it's embossed, it doesn't smear the ink. How about that? At least that's what I hope. <laughs> it does smear the ink a little bit because I didn't emboss everything. Oh well. So now I'm going over this with some blue. I hope this works, guys. Yes, it does. Bit of blue over here, bit of blue over here. I like it. Um, bit of pink. 
Ooh. Okay, now this is really nice. And now I've got it in my mouth. <laughs> okay, this I like. Look at it. I'm gonna dry this. And the parts that I embossed. Well, I'm using very light colors, so maybe it wouldn't have been that bad, actually. But the parts that I embossed are now... Um, resisting the watercolor. So I'm gonna get a bit more orange over here. Oh my gosh. A bit more blue. And a bit more pink. Or magenta, or whatever it is. And do this on this side as well. Because what can go wrong? It went so well on the first page. Yeah, don't say stuff like that. So some water over here. So that's why I use mixed media paper. Or best is of course watercolor paper. But this is I think a bit of watercolor paper what I'm using now. So again some blue. It's really wet so I'm just gonna smear out the blue. A bit more blue. Ooh, a bit purple. Okay. And a bit magenta. See how it resists the places where um, I embossed. That's what I love. I really like that. Okay. And a bit of... <laughs> Why are brushes round? <laughs> they fall off your table and they're round. Bit of yellow, a bit much yellow over here, but I don't mind. A bit too much water over here. It's dripping off my page. So I'm gonna dip it dry a little. This side is a bit darker, but that's okay. So let's clean this. Is this chaotic, this video, or is it chaotic? Can't even say it's so chaotic. I'm gonna leave this to dry. So now, I think it's dried enough, I'm going to put this over it. And there was a little triangle in here I needed to get out and a little bit over here. You always have to check with new stencils if all the bits are out. Yes, they are. So now I want to go over it with a stencil and I think I'm going to make it a bit blue and green so that the lighter colors can pop a little what do you think i have no idea let's just find out oh this is nice so i'm just gonna put this over here and i'm gonna put some blue over here like this Maybe I should have used completely different colors, of course. Oh my gosh, I love this stencil. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here as well. And not everywhere, just, you know, I want to leave a bit of pink visible and just like this. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Did I say I love it? So the fun part with this stencil is I can also use See, this one was blue, this one is going to be green, even though it's pink, but uh, hopefully you won't see that. I can also use only the triangles. Look at it. I like it. So let's do that over here as well. <laughs> I like it. Um, what else do we have? Well, this, this part is really nice. I think I want another color in here. I think I want some black in here. With this stencil? Shall I do that? Shall I? Or I can also use the orange. Do I have enough of these? 
I have two more. The rest is all <laughs> drying from my last video. So I'm going to put a bit of orange over here. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing sample. Sample stencil. It's by Dutch Dubadoo, guys. I bought it just a while ago and I showed you in my whole video. I absolutely love this stencil. It's so different. If you just turn it around a little bit, you've got such a different stencil. I mean, it's, this is all one stencil. I like it. So, yes. What else do I want? More green over here. Pfft. This is fun. Fun, fun. Okay. That's so far for this stencil. So I want a bit black. But do I want the stencil or do I want just black stamps or stuff? Maybe both. Maybe both. Black ink. So this is the part where I often think, yeah, what shall I do now? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put this underneath. And I'm going to use this stencil and I'm going to use this part, which I actually already used on here. And just go over it with black. Oh, <laughs> okay, I love that. So, um, right, I want it somewhere else. I want it over here. I can do that like this. I hope. I think this is the best stencil I ever bought. <laughs> I really, really, really like it, as you can tell. Yes. So now I, I think I just want some stamps, maybe just black. I think I have enough color for now, so these are gonna go in the... I have to clean that pile. I got this from my friend a while back and it is really nice. Is this one stamp? This is one stamp. You get another block. It's probably not gonna stamp too well. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going for a grungy look, so really weird. Maybe over here? That's better. Okay, <laughs> doesn't really do what I want, but splatter. Ooh, I like that one. Splatter. And a splatter over there. Okay. Now what? <laughs> So I've got my black gelato, Faber Castell gelato, and I'm just gonna go around the edge, just like this. And then just smear it out a little. I can wet my hand a little if I want to get it to smudge a bit better, but I kind of like this look. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? So, for the other side. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, well, it's kind of nice. I do like it, but it needs something. And I, it's, it doesn't need more stamps or stuff. It's just that the quote doesn't stand out. I think that's it. So I think it needs another quote. Another quote. Yes. But what? <laughs> Maybe something like a sticker like this, and then the black ones. There were most of them are really nasty. These are um, Big Talk uh, by Tim Tim Holtz, and yeah, they're mean quotes. But I saw a few that were kind of okay. Okay, I've got a few that are actually kind of fun. I think they're fun. Uh, people who tolerate me on a daily basis, they are the real heroes. Yeah, it's really fun. And I saw another one. Uh, I'm not, 
I try not to laugh at my own jokes, but we all know I'm hilarious. That's funny, has nothing to do with the page. So I think that's a fun one. The question is, do I put it like this? It's way too big. These are very big ones. Uh, scissors. I'm hilarious. Well, ain't that the truth? That makes it better. I want it to be a bit more high, but I, I, I like it this way. So does it need anything else, guys? Or is this just it? I want the background to be a bit darker, but um, I just used a bit, uh, well, actually not enough watercolor paint for that. So I might do this again with this trash ink. Maybe my next video, I don't know yet. Do you think this is this is it? Maybe I can go over it with a bit of a paint pen. I don't know. Let's just try it. Um, paint pen. I do have these paint pens that are by the Action. That are really amazing. But are very bright. That's true. So I can... Oh boy, here we go. Ruin the whole thing. As I often do. This is supposed to be a circle. More. Not bad. <laughs> okay, I kind of like it. Let's do this one as well. I like things to come back on the other side of the page. I just like stuff like that. That's it guys, that's all folks. <laughs> Again, one of my busy pages, but uh, it was all about layering and the background is a bit too light to my liking, but I still really do like it and it's so much fun to do. It's actually kind of relaxing. Just, you know, doing something. So I want to do this again, but then with this stress ink and see what the difference is. So, you know, just stamp some random um, background stamps on here, emboss them, and then use my distress ink and use some water and stuff. And let's do that the next time and see what happens. And also on this paper, because it's also different on different paper, when you use smooth paper, uh, the, the watercolor might have been a bit more, a bit darker, but then again, the paper might not have been able to handle it, so, oh well. But let me know what you think of this very busy page. It was just something I wanted to try out. This book, by the way, is a book of stuff that I just want to try out. I mean, Grumpy Cat and a kitten with... <laughs> I'll do a flip through one day. This was a pen that didn't work the way it was supposed to work, but I like it. And I'm just trying out stuff in this one, like this. So this was me trying out this, and um, well, I kind of like it. It's a page that really doesn't say anything. It's just... You look at it and you see colors and shapes and and that's it. And then you see, oh wait, there's a quote. And it tells you that I'm a hilarious, <laughs> which you all already know. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> I try not to laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> okay. Whoa. So that's it for today. You know the routine. I would love it if you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and leave some comments down below on this very busy layered page because that was what I was go <laughs> because that was what I was going for lots of layers and I think that I did so that's it for today all that's left to say is groetjes from Holland greetings from Holland bye <laughs>